Hey YouTube, it's Matt Huff with First Look. And um, I'm just here to kind of give you some tips on the Camlink 4K. And I want to show you how you can go from this beautifulness to this. So what you're looking at right now is the, uh, again, like I was saying, the Camlink 4K. And it's actually in 4K. Could you believe it or not? Um, I struggled to be able to get it in 4K. I could not believe how hard it was. And um, the, I guess the menu system that I wasn't able to understand well enough. So what I'm gonna do here today is just kind of show you exactly what you need to do to be able to get to stream at um, 2160 by 30 frames. Uh, first number, first tip, make sure that you are in 30 frames per second. And I usually record in 24, so that kind of screwed me up a little bit. Um, and then also I will now show you kind of the menu system to be able to, uh, get what you want. All right. So here I want to first show you, um, kind of what I was struggling with is in the menu system, movie mode, I did have 4k 20, well, 24, but switched to 29.97 frames. Um, H265 all intra. This is how I normally shoot. And I like the Eterna profile, so I figured that that looked great on the cam link. Um, could not get it to work. It kept just showing up um, as 1080p with 60 frames. So just, uh, I guess, long story short, I finally discovered, I thought, was these two areas. Sounds like it, you know, would be reasonable with using HDMI out. Nope, that isn't it at all. Um, had to come up to here flog HLG recording and this is where all the difference is so here you got it listed out which each profile and the resolution as well as the frame rate that each one will give you I haven't been able to figure out any way to get it off the 1080p 60 because like I said before I wanted to do both um, both profiles with Eterna but it, it just wasn't letting me um, also if you are going to record the cam link 4k Use it. You need to shut the software off and restart it anytime you switch to a different profile. I I like to record on my camera at the same time as I record the Cam Link 4K, so that does uh, cause an issue because I like DSD will only allow profile and flog, and I don't want to have to grade either one. Um, there's a reason why I choose the profiles, so it is kind of annoying, but it's something that you can uh, work with. So that's just. Hopefully this list will kind of help you out a little bit. My tips are if you want to record in 4K, make sure you are in the profile where it has the SD, SD card as F-Log and the HDMI as whatever profile you like to do, such as Eternal is what this is. Um, if you want to grade your captured cam link footage for whatever reason, um, then go ahead and do the profile with the SD card and then the HDMI output will be F-Log. And that'll allow you, those are the only two that allow you to record at 2160, 30 frames. Like I said before, all the rest are 1080p, 60 frames. Um, do be weary of the capture side of the software on cam length to make sure that the frame rates equal each other. Otherwise you get um, a lot of skipping and jumping. Uh, yeah, that's kind of my biggest thing. I'll also make sure you're using the 4K capture utility. That was my number one overall problem. Um, I was using the Game Capture HD, which only goes up to 1080p 60 frames. Yeah, I mean, this was pretty quick, down and dirty. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions about the Camlink 4K. I will try to help you any way I can with them. Uh, yeah, until next time. See ya.